Welcome Tunis uh, to another Tips and Hints uh, video. Uh, today uh, we're going to celebrate music as we always do because uh, music is our constant companion. It travels with us when we're, we're, we're happy and joyous, celebrating and also comforts us when we're sad. So this is the um, soundtrack to our life. Songs are the soundtrack to our lives and we have all different songs that have uh, different um, different meanings to us from different areas and different uh, parts of our lives. So today I want to talk about sliding into chords, okay? So if you slide into a chord, uh, so I'm going to just slide into what's called the D major 7th chord, and it's going to be from a D flat major 7th to a D major 7th. So that little, that little slide can add a lot of interest to your, your playing. So when you get a little bit more advanced, you can do things like... So you get them nice little, you know. So sliding does add a little bit of uh, interest, a little bit of a little change, a little bit of uh, intrigue to the playing, and uh, can get you to think. And when you're playing along, and people go, "Oh, wow, that's something new, something different." So you know, if you. So just practice with it, play around with it. You've got your F chord, slide up to your G. You can slide around with your C major chord. Play around with it. If you get the guitar in your hand, you don't have to try to be doing uh, you know, scales every day and things like that. Just getting the guitar in your hand for 10 minutes a day uh, when you're starting out uh, can help build that that muscle memory with moving your fingers around the board and it's just a matter of playing around and hearing what sounds great and what doesn't sound too good oh, it's, a bit, it's a bit hard to get something that doesn't sound good um, there you go there you go so you can find stuff that sounds terrible uh, but just the more you play around with it the more you can uh, feel what's going with the guitar and the more comfortable you'll become. You'll go through a, a series of, of um, ups and downs with your learning curve anyway. So you'll learn, you'll gain a lot of knowledge, then you seem to plateau. Don't panic. Um, sometimes it just takes a while for your brain to catch up with your fingers. Okay? Until next time, tunies, subscribe. Go check out the free Absolute Beginners course I have on my, uh, my, my channel. Uh, have a great day and... Just remember, I hope that the uh, the best of yesterday is the, the worst of tomorrow for you all out there. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Welcome back, Tunies, to another Fert Fables Hints and Tips session. Um, today, we're going to talk about um, breaking, breaking up chords, arpeggios, but we're going to use our fingers instead of a plectrum. Well, I did a session with plectrum um, previously. So this one here, I'm going to talk about... Uh, I, I, there was a thing called the Travis Pick. I, I don't really, I haven't gone into the Travis Pick. I do sort of like a modified version of it, a rough um, version of the Travis Pick. But we'll just go through the the C chord, and I'm going to alternate between the C and the E. So that's the second string there, third fret, third string, second fret. Okay, and all I'm going to do is just run up up and down the bottom three strings. So the G. Like that, so. That's what it sounds like. Now you're dying to find out what my right hand's doing. All my right hand is doing, let's see if we can get this positioned right. That's all the C. There you go, the E. So that's all I'm doing. And you can do that with all your different chords. As long as you know what the chords, the, 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 the notes are in the chord. So in the C chord, you've got the C. It goes the D, E is the third. So you go to the, the bass, the third. Uh, you can go to the D, which will be a D bass. A. D. A. Because that's D. Uh, uh, the A is the fifth of the D, 
So as long as you're using one of the bass notes that are actually in the chord, uh, it's gonna sound pretty good. So you can just play around with it. So just play with it, get, get, your, get your hands on your guitar. Um, if you're just starting out or you wanna start out, you wanna learn to play guitar, check out my absolute beginner's guide uh, to everything about the guitar. Uh, to give you a bit of a primer um, it's probably going to be the best time you spend uh, before you start playing with a guitar or doing anything like that just get used to having a guitar in your hand five minutes a day you'll increase your skill set over time so just subscribe and um, check out the course have a great day and until next time